Hi, thanks for joining me. My name is Scott Walls with Embarcadero Technologies, and today I'd like to show you a demonstration of DB Artisan and its support of Microsoft SQL Azure, SQL Server in the Cloud. DB Artisan is our cross-platform database administration tool. On the left side here, you can see our Explorer and see the platforms that we do support, IBM DB2, LUW, uh, Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL, Oracle, Sybase, as well as IBM DB2 ZOS servers. So in this demonstration, let's go ahead and expand our SQL Server node and expand the SQL Azure. Let's go ahead, I want to walk you through the steps necessary to register a Azure data source. So register, you're licensed, you'll have the Azure option there, press next. You'll drop your data source name. Database is optional. Create a custom data source name. Press next. Here you'll use your username and password. And you can also select auto connect and press test connection to, to test it. And that's pretty much it. We can finish here. So here I have some data sources already set up and connected. So let's go ahead and expand this Azure data source. We look at our roles and users. We'll expand the schemas node. Scroll down, let's take a look at one of the schemas and take a look at the object support within DB Artisan for Azure. So as we look, we can see M check constraints, foreign keys, functions, indexes, primary keys, procedures, tables, triggers, unique keys and views. Let's go ahead and look at the tables. We can see we have some tables already in. So take a look at one table, simply highlight it, right click, and look at our extensive context menu so we can do everything from create up at the top all the way down to looking at the triggers we can import data from a file describe select star from update statistics so let's go ahead and open this so at this point we're seeing the metadata around this table broker so here are our columns on the left the columns are listed on the right hand side are all the properties for the columns so as you, you see as I select the different columns the properties go along. We can look at the properties of the table, indexes, uh, constraints, dependencies, permissions, and lastly the DDL view. So here's a listing of all the DDL needed to create this table. Let's take a step back. Let's take a right click on the table and create. So at this point we're able to create a new table and all this is happening up on the cloud. So we'll drop this down and we'll get an owner. We'll set a demo table. Go ahead and press next. And at this point, we're able to add our columns. Look at our column one. We'll make that a identity column. We'll go ahead and add another column. Make this the name. We'll change the data type to character. We'll get a size of 50. Add an address, and so on. At this point, then we can press next. We'll take, we can create an index if we like, so within the user interface here, we can go ahead and press add, and at this point we're able to create an index, we can cancel there, we can look at the constraints, any permissions, and lastly the DDL view. At this point we're able to execute this and create the table. We could save the query, we could send it to a printer, email somebody, and extract it to a SQL window or schedule it for later. Let's go ahead and execute. So here is our object editor for the new demo table we created. So it's easy as that with DB Artisan walk through the wizard driven approach and you're able to create a table. That that applies to all the objects that are supported on SQL Azure. So as we're as I mentioned earlier, DB Artisan is cross platform. So one of the uh, one of the nice features of DB Artisan is is its ability to migrate schemas. So let's go ahead and look in the utilities, the schema migration. So as you're moving uh, databases and schemas from different platforms up to the cloud with DB Artisan it's it's really a wizard driven point and click approach we can take these schemas from not only a SQL Server data source but also look from a cross-platform approach as you continue to move different platforms up to a SQL Azure data source so let's press next so in this example I will work with one of our data sources in our Toronto lab in our target will be our SQL Azure data source. We want to go ahead and bring in our 
GIM, which is short for Global Investment Management Data Source. We, let's look at tables and drill in and look at the dependencies we like along with those. For this example, we just now let's take a look at the uh, foreign keys, indexes, primary keys, and unique keys. So here we'll expand over here and actually we get the option here to, to, to select the specific table. Let's uncheck these two. Press next. And here we're presented with more options. I would like to change the owner. I'm going to go ahead and drop this into the GIM schema on my Azure data source. And you're also able to move data. This time I'm going to go ahead and I'm one step ahead right here. And no movement of data. Drop down. We can either let the utility run this and go ahead and populate and copy all the schema objects or we can generate a script. Let's go ahead and for this test we'll go ahead and let the application take care of it for us. And finally we're presented with a summary. Let's go ahead and press finish. So in a matter of roughly 17 seconds we're able to create 24 objects. So we'll close this. Let's go ahead and drill into the schema. Go into the GIM schema that we changed the owner there. Look at the tables. And here we are, a list of those tables that were just created via the migration. So as simple as walking through the wizards, selecting the data sources that we'd like to serve as our target and our source, we're able to go ahead and move those objects up to a SQL Azure cloud data source. So again, this is a really quick demonstration of the um, facilities within DB Artisan to support Microsoft SQL Azure. Thanks. Visit Embarcadero.com and follow the links to the Azure page where you can find information on downloading and trialing out this version of DB Artisan. Thanks and have a great day.